Hello everybody. Whether a person is a low profile servant in government or a high profile business manager in some multinational organization, everyone needs to write report at some point or the other. Let us see the what and how of an effective report. As long as man makes decisions based on information, there will be reports. But what is a report? And what makes a report effective? In this session, we will look for answers to these two questions. A report is a description of an event or an analysis of factual information from someone who has it to someone who needs it. In other words, a report is a formal communication with a specific audience to a, for a well-defined purpose. It presents authentic information completely and clearly in a conventional format. An effective report is one that is read and that stimulates some sort of action instead of the one that is merely filed and ignored forever. Reports usually move in an upward direction and are used to communicate to senior level in the organization. In a one-man business, in the horse and buggy days, situations could be dealt with single-handedly and decisions could be taken on the spot. There was no need for writing reports or even oral reporting as that one person knew of everything that happened in his organization by personal observation. But in large-scale large organizations, it is not possible for one man to be present everywhere and at all times. There are departments and departments have heads. These heads keep the superior informed of all the activities of the company. They send reports. By supplying information, reports supplement what the executive can observe and so are an extension of the executive's limited physical capacity to be present everywhere or to observe. Just as machines are an extension of man's limited capacity to produce or manufacture goods. So, by helping in the dissemination of ideas, views, suggestions, reports develop information and understanding essential for decision making. Some reports might present the actual solution to a problem, while others might just record historical information that is needed for future action. Either way, information is being reported for decision making. And thus they say that a report is a useful management tool in decision making. What does a report tell? Well, a report tells whether work is being completed, whether schedules are being met with, whether costs have been contained, sales or pr production projections have, are being met with, unexpected problems have been solved or not. Reports tell almost everything about an organization. They serve several purposes. They inform, they explain, they suggest, they interpret and they describe. They also serve a more personal purpose. Reports develop you, the future executive. and. They not only display ability, but also help in developing them. Let us see how. The ability to write an effective report is an essential career skill. An executive uses this skill to communicate a business report or proposal to his seniors. A report may carry more than just information. It carries impression. Impression of the person who wrote the report. Impression of his carefulness, meticulousness and accuracy. Of his ability to sift the important and relevant from the unimportant and irrelevant material. Of his organizing skill and language. Of his knowledge and understanding of the specialization. Thereby, it gives the writer an opportunity to prove his worth to his superiors. Reports also display and develop the ability. The process of looking up the answers to the questions of management gives practice in using tools and methods of research. It makes the writer
writer more familiar with his field of work and his organization. It helps him build an awareness of the perspective of management and develops his skill as a writer. But what makes a report effective? What makes a report different from the one that is filed and forgotten forever? Well, it all depends on the seven C's of communication. The characteristics of an effective report are similar to the seven C's. First and foremost characteristic that comes is precision. A report which is precise gives unity and coherence and makes it a valuable document. Accuracy is another characteristic that differentiates a good report from a bad one. Accuracy in a report includes accuracy of facts and accuracy of writing. Since reports invariably lead to decision making, inaccurate facts or data may lead to inaccurate decisions and can be disastrous. Accuracy of writing refers to the writing mechanics, to spelling, punctuation, grammar and vocabulary. Wrong construction of sentences lead to ambiguity. A good report is written in simple and clear, unambiguous language. It is easy to understand if it is written in simple, clear and grammatically correct language with words that are easily recognizable. Imagine if we read a report and for every other word we have to consult a dictionary to know the meaning. It is a tedious task and no one wants to do it. We might as well put the report aside then go through such a hard task. Short sentences and short paragraphs should be used in a report and if there are sections then subheadings should be used to separate some sections. This accuracy makes a report much more effective and readable than otherwise. Next comes relevance. The facts presented in the report should not only be accurate but they should also be relevant. Irrelevant facts make a report confusing. An exclusion of relevant facts makes it incomplete and again is likely to mislead. The next point that is, uh, the next characteristic is reader orientation. This is one thing which is usually left out. While drafting a report, it is important to keep in mind the person or the persons who are going to read the report. And most of us totally ignore this point. We write from our perspective, catering to our needs, totally ignoring the reader. That is where we go wrong. Each reader has our unique needs and our report must address to those needs. Avoid the false assumption that the audience is familiar with the subject or has a strong interest in the subject of our report. Any kind of assumption leads to a wrong report. A report that has no interest, that generates no interest in the reader to read it. Objective recommendations. Objectivity in a report means presenting material free from personal feelings and prejudices. If recommendations are made in a report, then they must be impartial and objective. They must not reveal any self-interest on the part of the writer and should come as a logical conclusion to investigation and analysis. There is a tendency in report writing to slant the information so as to lead the reader to the decision the writer wants. But one needs to here remember that the credibility of the report and the writer is at stake. And one must avoid slanting of information at all costs. One can achieve objectivity by distinguishing between facts and opinions, by minimizing judgments and inferences which cannot be substantiated with credible evidence. One can present, one can also achieve objectivity by presenting all relevant information, whether positive or negative. And of course, using a bias-free language definitely helps in making our report much more objective. Next is 
clarity. A good report is absolutely clear. Clarity depends on proper arrangement of facts. The writer should be systematic in his approach, make his purpose clear, define his sources, state his findings and finally make necessary recommendations. He should divide his report in short paragraphs giving headings to achieve greater clarity. A report should be brief but brevity should not be achieved at the cost of clarity or completeness. One needs to include everything that is significant and yet be brief. One way to shorten the report or achieve brevity is to omit unnecessary data and repetition. After writing the report, one needs to go through the report again and see if there is a lot of repetition, repetition if there is a lot of flowery language, idiomatic language and we can do away with those things to achieve brevity. Before a writer undertakes to prepare a report, certain points must be taken care of. What kind of report is expected? How much time has been allowed? Has the writer been allowed to prepare the report? What is exactly the purpose of the report? What exactly is to be examined? What facts are to be furnished? Who is going to read the report? One may need information as the basis of for an immediate decision and action or as background for long term future planning. One may need a lot of information or just a little bit of information. The length and much of the nature of the report will depend on the need of the writer and the reader. If we take care of these characteristics, one can ensure to come up with a good, effective, readable report. Let us sum up what we have discussed till now. We saw that reports serve several purposes. They inform, they explain, they interpret, they describe. They help in decision making and are used by the management for this purpose extensively. They serve several purposes including presenting the data, analyzing and coming up with recommendations, solutions and suggestions for problems and they also develop the individual writing it and gives him an opportunity to showcase his skills. An effective report is accurate, concise, clear, complete, credible and candid. Thank you.